This is your first time here in this channel. It's all about educative stuffs. So don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell notification to get instant updates. Smash that like. Hello guys, I am Hamsavadan from Code 4. Today we will be solving an IGCC computer science theory past paper. To the first question. L has a file stored on a computer that is 20 MB in size. Jordan has a file that is 10 GB in size. Tick to show which is the larger file. Obviously gigabytes is larger than megabytes so there is a tick on 10 gigabytes. Bob has a file stored on his computer that is 3500 KB in size. Gretty has a file that is 3 MB in size. So when we convert to KB, it is little close. So we have to find the actual value to know which one is larger. 3 megabytes in kilobytes would add up to 3096, that is 3096 kilobytes. Because we have to multiply megabytes into 1024 to get the kilobytes. Obviously, 3500 is larger than 3096, so there is a tick on 2500 KB. Second question. Many computer systems have an input device and an output device. State what is meant by an input device. An input device is a device that allows data to be entered into a computer. Examples of it include keyboard, mouse, etc. D subdivision. State what is meant by an output device. An output device is, an, is a device that allows user to view or hear the data that has been entered into a computer system. Examples, monitor and printer. Third question. A long distance running race uses an electrical counter that counts each competitor who finishes the race. The count is stored in a 12-bit binary register. The binary value of the count is displayed on the screen above the finish line. The screen currently displays 0039, that is 39. State the binary value that is currently stored on the display uh, stored to display the count shown. An easy method to do solve these types of questions is to create a table like this, which contains squares of 2 because it is binary. There is 2 to the power 0. There is 1, 2 square, 2, uh, 2 to the power 1, 2, 2 to the power 2, 4, 2 cube, 8, and so on. So you have to create one like this and uh, and put zeros and ones correspondingly. So our question is 39. So the closest number that is not larger than it is 32. So put a 1 on it. Then check for 16 it will go above 39 so we have to leave that and even adding 8 to it that will become 40 so we we should not add that adding 4 would give 36 then adding 2 again will give us 38 and adding 1 at last would give 39 you have to remember in a way such that whenever we use one those numbers are added together to produce the binary value so after that fill the other values with zero other places with zero and you get a binary number but I have used just a 10 bit number for simplicity just adding two before two zeros before them would give you a 12 bit binary number then a2 uh, similar question but with 350 as the value so the number that is uh, most close but less than it that is 256 adding 128 would go more than 350 so we add 64 so we get 320 then adding 16 would get three, we'll get 336 then when we add 4 we get 340 adding 2 would uh, we'd get 342 actually we are also adding 16 so we get 350 this is how to solve these kinds of sums at the end of the race, the binary value stored is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. When you create a table like this and put all values here, 
you can calculate the corresponding values by top. When you add those values as I have shown here, you get the correct answer in decimal. Then moving to the B subdivision, sensors are used to finish sensors are used at the finish line to identify the number of competitors to who finish the race. Identify two different sensors that could be used to identify the number of competitors. Sensor 1, it could be a light sensor and sensor 2 could be a motion sensor. The sensors are used with a microprocessor to count how many competitors finish the race. Explain how sensors and microprocessors are used. Se most of the sensors questions can use, like, most of the answers for the sensors questions can be this. Sensors send signal to microprocessor. Signal is an analog, so it has to be converted to digital using an ABC, that is analog to digital converter. Data is compared with the store value. If data does not match or a signal is detected, the counter is incremented by one. Moving to the fourth question. Darius is writing a computer program that allows binary values to be calculated. Darius chooses to write the program in a high level language rather than a low level language. Explain why Darius chooses to write the program in high level language. Because it is closer to human language and easier to read, write and understand. Darius will use a translator program, translator to translate the program. He could use a compiler or an interpreter. Five statements are given about compilers and interpreters. Tick to show if, if the statement applies to a compiler or an interpreter. Statements may apply to both. First, a report of errors is produced at an end of translation. That would be a compiler. The program is translated one by line, one line at a time. That would be interpreter. The program is translated from high level language to machine code. It could either be a compiler or an interpreter. So two ticks on both of them. An executable file is produced. That would be a compiler. The program will not run at all if an error is detected. And that would be a compiler. For more information about this, visit chapters related to that. Subdivision. Darius will use translator to translate the program. He could use a compiler or an interpreter. Five statements are given about compilers and interpreters. Tick to show if the statement applies to compiler or an interpreter. Statements may apply to both. A report of errors is produced at the end of the translation that would be a compiler. So a tick on that. The program is translated one line at a time. That would be an interpreter. The program is translated from high level language to low level language that is machine code. It can either be co compiler or interpreter or both. So put a tick on both of them. An executable file is produced. That would be a compiler. And finally, the program will not run at all if an error is detected. That would be a compiler. Moving on to the C subdivision. Darius is sending several programs that he has created to his friend Selma. He wants to compress the files to send them as he needs to attach them to an email. Darius tells Selma he is going to use lossy compression. Selma tells him that he should use lossless instead. Explain why Selma tells Darius to use lossless compression instead of lossy. First reason, lossy would remove lossy would remove data and that is not desirable in an email and lossless would not. In lossless, the data can be restored to the original state. Otherwise, it will not run correctly. Errors, errors can occur when data is transmitted, stored or entered into a system. Darius could use an error detection method to find whether errors have occurred. One error, data, one error detection method he, uh, he could use is a checksum. Describe how checksum detects errors. First, the sending device creates a value from the calculation on data. The value is transmitted with the data 
that is specifically at the end of the data. The receiving device performs the same calculation. The values are compared before and after. An error is detected if the values do not match. As the values are created from the data itself, when the data changes the code, the value also does not match. So they can find that an error has occurred during transmission and ask for re-entering, resending the same data. State three other error de detection methods that Darius could use. ARQ, automatic repeat request, method two, parity check, and method three, check digit. The fifth question is about logic gates. Consider the following logic statement. A. Draw a logic circuit that represents the logic statement. Your, your logic gates must have maximum of two inputs. Do not simplify the logic statement. So first, x equals 1 if a is 1 and a is 1 and c is 1. So a has to be 1. So it is already one. So it is connected to a NAND gate. They have mentioned and C is also one. So it is also connected as C is already one. And we can name the output after that as D for a simplification. Then this gate like this value has to be paired in a NOR gate with not of A. So a naught is here and D is here. When they both get paired, an F is created. Like we are creating like D E F for our simpli uh, simplicity in calculation. Then finally R, we are putting in our gate and connecting it. Then the other part is B is one and C is not one. So B is one like the basic in, basic one and c is not one so passing it through a not gate not gate would make it not one like zero and putting them in an and gate will get e when we join e and f in an or gate the the logic statement is complete complete the truth table for the logic statement given so first a is zero 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 and one 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 B is 0011011, C is 01010101. So we have A naught. So we are just changing it. 0 would become 1, 0 would become 1, 0 would become 1, and similarly 1 would become 0, 1 would become 0. For the C question, same. 0 would become 1, 1 would become 0 for not gate. While we pass it through the not gate. For D, as we saw in D, it is a combination of A and C. So, and it is passed through a not NAND gate. So, A and C, 0 and 0 in a NAND gate would give 0, but it is NAND. So, the AND gate should be, uh, the value from AND gate should be passed through a NOT gate. So, the value 0 would change it to 1. Similarly, passing these both through an AND gate would give 0, and it has to be passed through a NOT gate, so it becomes 1. Doing the same for rest of the other parts would give this, that is D. Next, moving to E. E is a combination of not of C and B. So not of C is this part here and B is here. When we add these both, it is like zero and one passing through an AND gate would give zero. Zero and one passing through an AND gate to zero. 1 and 1 passing through an AND gate would give 1. So like uh, doing the similar things would give this. Then F. So F is a combination of not of A and D. So we have mentioned not of A and D in an OR gate. So these two in an OR gate would give 1. But as it is a NOR gate, it has to be passed through a NOT again. So it will become 0 again. And here there is a 1. So it becomes 1. And again, passing through a NOT gate would make it 0. And repeating this would give this. And finally, 
f or e to get the x it is to get the x f and e are passed through an or gate finally 0 and 0 would give 0 0 and 0 would give 0 1 and 0 would give 1 0 and 0 would give 0 0 and 0 would give 0 0 and 1 would give 1 1 and 0 would give 1 and finally 0 and 1 would also give 1 the answer matches with the answer in the answer key so this is the right answer moving to the sixth question Nadia purchases a printer to print out her homework she connects the printer to her computer using USB. Explain what USB is. USB is Universal Serial Bus. As suggested in the name, it uses serial transmission. So that would give us a point. Then it is Universal Standard. That is most people use it. So that is a point. And last one, it is a data transmission method as we all know. B subdivision. Nadia's printer uses uses powder toner rather than liquid ink. State the type of printer that Nadia has purchased. That would be a laser printer. Give two benefits of using the this type of printer. Benefit 1. It prints at faster speed. And benefit 2. It cheaper printing cost like it is less costly per page but it is expensive to buy the toner and that would become a drawback. Toner is similar to a cartridge for an inkjet printer. C. She uses, Nadia uses several types of computer storage for her homework and other projects. Five examples of computer storage is given. Tick to show if the computer storage, computer storage is primary, secondary or offline. SSD that is a secondary storage device blu-ray disc that is an offline usb flash memory that is a pen drive essentially it is also offline ram random access memory it is primary and rom read only memory is also primary <laughs> nadia is considering to the next subdivision nadia is considering purchasing a magnetic storage device describe how a magnetic storage device stores data Storage device has platters, for example, HDD, hard disk drive, it is a magnetic, magnetic storage device. Platters or disks are divided into tracks. The storage platter is spun. It has read-write arm that moves across the storage media very quickly so it can access all the parts. Read and read-writes data using electromagnets uses magnetic field to control magnetic dots of data and the magnetic field determines the binary value. Third subdivision. Give two advantages of using magnetic storage rather than a solid state storage device. More longevity and cheaper unit per data. To the final question. Aria regularly uses internet as a research tool for her school projects. Identify and describe three risks to Aria's computer when she is using the internet for research. Risk 1. Hacking. Hacking is when a person tries to gain unauthorized access to a computer system. Data can be deleted or corrupted by the hacker. Risk 2 is malware. Malware is a software program designed to damage or disturb the computer system and it replicates itself and fills the hard disk. Virus Virus is a program that replicates itself to damage or delete files. And that's all with this past paper. Thank you for watching.